All right, so I'm going to do my advanced algebra screencast. And so I got set to, and it basically all revolves around this equation here. And uh, it's just a couple questions about this equation, so I'm going to leave it up in the corner here. And then, yeah. Anyway, the first question is, uh, what are the x-intercepts of... I deleted it of this equation and uh, write your answer as ordered pairs and so basically you take the equation down here and I factored out the three just so this would be easier to see uh, and then I factored this so you got uh, three times x minus two times x plus four so that lets you know that when y equals zero uh, or f of x equals zero, that the x possibilities for x are um, two and negative four. Then uh, later on, um, well, the next one is what are the y-intercepts of the same equation? So you plug in zero for x, and this is even easier, I guess. So you plug in zero for x and uh, just solve the equation. So you get 0 plus 0 minus 24 equals negative 24. So you have the y-intercept is, uh, well, 0, negative 24. Then the next question is, uh, what are the coordinates of the vertex? And so what you do here is, um, uh, pause for a second. All right, after pausing for a second, you realize that, um, you need to find the midpoint, so the well, the, not the midpoint, but the point between the two x's, which is uh, negative one something, because um, negative one is between two and negative four. So uh, you know negative one is the x coordinate, so you plug in negative one into the equation, and then solve like I did here, and then uh, you get x equals negative twenty-seven. So that helps you find the vertex. Um, all right. Then the next one, how can you tell if the vertex is a maximum or a minimum from the numbers of, in the function? Uh, because there is no negative sign before the 3x squared right here, um, you know that it's a minimum, aka uh, smiley face graph. Uh, all right. Then the final question, here's my lovely graph, is... Uh, graph the function right here and so since we have the both the x-intercepts and the vertex we can just plot those on my poorly drawn graph like so so here's both x-intercepts and the vertex and then uh, graph it and considering um, negative 1 negative 27 is kind of hard to get on a graph this small um, the scale is every block is 1x and 5y so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 27. All right, so those are all the questions I have. Fantastic. Pausing.